on, Larry. Let's see. You want to play a little more? Hey. Playing you know, talk. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't have much more to ask. I, I don't know. What'd you get? Well, I mean, one, one thing you can, yeah, they're just, they're the pieces of things. One thing I'd like you to say is maybe a couple words about Dick. You were going to do that before. Uh, you did a little bit of it, but just tell me a little bit about Dick. He's, it seemed like he was an integral part of this piece. Yeah, very much so. And that's one of, being around Dick has been a real satisfying experience, too, because he came, comes from a complete stranger, you know. And he came from a whole other world. I mean, the same planet, but a different world where people f don't think the same way as the people that I'm normally used to out here. If I'd have found him in Taos, it would have been a different, he would have been just like most of the people out there. But I found him and had him around my scene here, which I know very well. And he was like a guy with two left feet at first. Just, um, couldn't, you know, it was like coming to the moon. He hadn't ever been around uh, people that were not uptight in the same way as he, I mean, in the same way as his group is uptight. And there's a real sort of chauvinistic scene, I would suspect. I don't know Dick very well at all, really, you know, but I, but he extended himself beyond what I could ever expect from anybody who was working just for money. You, uh, he just he just got into it. He got into it and he worked very hard. I could have never done it without him in that short amount of time as we spent on And uh, I don't know whether he has any idea of what makes me tick or why I'm doing it or any of that kind of stuff, you know. But I know that just being out here, out of his scene, normal everyday mundane world, into my normal everyday mundane world was a real trip, you know. I doubt if I would have the strength to do it the other way. I don't think I could make it for very long. And it's, I'm not anywhere near as strong as he is. So. You know, to go into his world. To go into his world. You know, to work like that for somebody else. I could never do that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's quite a guy. Why don't you work? You can work, of course. But you used to work. Tell me about the job. You used to have a lot of jobs. You did a lot of things. I didn't do too much. No. I had I'd worked at a picture framing shop for a while. Worked as a janitor in a bowling alley for a while. I delivered, drove a truck delivering parts for a VW agency for a while. I did that kind of job, you know. And uh, this wasn't very interesting or satisfying, you know. Worked at, I got to know Fred at this, at this club in, called the Unicorn in Hollywood, where the place actually became my whole social life for years was based on hanging around this place and playing the guitar and a lot of saw a lot of really talented people come in and get started I made some good friends lots of met a lot of people that really influenced and influenced me very profoundly just by their attitude towards themselves or toward their sense of humor or something and uh, so that was as, clo as close to a job that I liked as I have ever had. Yeah. I don't consider this a job, you know. The, the making, you know, do it like doing this piece was not a job, even though it was it was more like being in the army than it was being because I really regimented my 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 time and my activity because I but it was strictly for me you know I wanted to get it done I was not working for anybody else except maybe Janet and that baby I mean to get it, get back to them and do something that she might really like so uh, so you're, you're 
doing it for her? No, I'm not doing it for her. I just say if if I, I would like to think that if she would like what I did. I mean, she sacrificed a lot. Of just in the turn, just to, I mean, just in the sense of having somebody to take the kid off her hands for a few hours a day, you know, she gave that up just so I could be here, and she didn't never laid any trips on me about about it. And so that's quite a sacrifice. Dedicate the tape. I like to dedicate this tape to all the people in Detroit. I never been to Detroit. I don't know nothing about Detroit. Place to start. <laughs> uh, okay, be heavy, man. Some sum it up for tonight. Sum up your whole life. Fred. That's too hard. You sum it up. Sum it up for the song. Wait, let me play you this song. Play you this song. You listening, Fred? Fred? I won't play unless Fred's listening. Well, come in here.
like that, Freddy? All right. All right. One more thing. Yeah.